Okay, gang, it's, it's day number two. Now, here's the thing. Each day builds on the next day. Yesterday, amazing foundation. If you're coming on today and you didn't watch yesterday and you're registered, you're getting emailed the recordings every day. So last night, recording, you got emailed today. Tonight, you'll get emailed tomorrow. And if you need to watch them again, great. But then also, please forward these to at least three other chiropractors because as you're learning – Man, we can create a legacy. We can actually change the healthcare system if you do what we're talking about today. So what was the foundation yesterday? Three questions. What's your purpose? What type of patient do you want to create? And what impact do you want to have? Now, when we look at those, the answers to those questions, man, we can we can create a legacy the last generations. We want people to live chiropractic as their primary health care. We want them to bring their family. We want want their kids to bring their kids and their kids to bring their kids. Now, when you, and you create a legacy. Now, when you create that, can you see how this becomes automated? When I figured that out, when I went from a 40 PVA to a 70 to a hundred PVA, I didn't have to show up anymore because they were coming for themselves. And then you get people on monthly payments. I mean, in four years, imagine in four or five years, if you're going to be practicing, if you have, three to 500, depending how many new patients you get, three to 500 people paying you monthly. And even if it's as little as 200 bucks a month, you're making 80 to to $100,000 a month just on your lifestyle people that will come for years. And because you have this machine that just rolls, even if people quit off wellness, you're adding more then are leaving. Why? Because it's a belief system. So what I'm going to do when you look at yesterday and then we look at today, what's this unique and original? This is an original business model, meaning it was developed in elite for a legacy that's growing, sustainable, profitable, and gives you freedom. That's exactly what the benefits are. Why? Because you got a purpose that's way bigger, man. So this business model gives you laser sharp focus. And intention and power gives power and intention and focus to your team that what you end up with is an automatic system that gives you time and financial freedom. Why? Because you don't have to be there. Um, you can replace people, but you just plug them in because you're not going to probably not going to have the same front desk person for 10 years. I mean, you might. But if you don't, you just plug that new person in, they get into the machine, replace the cog, the wheel never stops. And because you have paid, because you've created this culture and this movement. Now, here's what happens. I get people, you know, obviously we coach people, right? And so, well, shoot, we lost our front desk and now we have training. Well, what? hey, look, I look at your intent sheets. Well, your staff's are down. What's that? Well, we got a new front desk person we're training. Well, what's that mean? That means your patients are susceptible to your energy. Now, everybody says, well, of course they're susceptible to the energy. Well, if you created a patient that's coming for themselves, you could be in a bad mood and they'll still do that. How do I know? Because Cody Jordan, one of our coaches, he had a baby. I think it's now, God, it's got to be two years ago. And he's like, crap, I'm having a baby. I don't know how old he is, probably like 45. And all of a sudden, he's maturing. So now he actually wants to spend time at home. And it's his, you know, it's his first son. So he got one new patient a week for 12 weeks. The last three months of the year, one new patient. Didn't really want to be in his office. And he saw 350 a week never wavered collections never wavered why he didn't even want to be there i want to be home with my son which is an uncommon and his practice didn't waver why because he created the culture and that's what this business model will do it'll give you laser sharp focus that you create a machine that runs like this all the time so let's get in how to do this because this is so powerful. So it's an original business model. 
this isn't now this business model isn't about business like the irony of all time is it really about business well what it's about is really about purpose now here's why isn't it about business let me let me give you an example did martin luther king jr start a business be like you know i'm gonna get i'm gonna start a business no but he's got a day did he change the world with a universal principle yeah racism what was the universal principle? We're all united. Unity is eyes principle. Black, white, red, yellow. I don't know. What's it matter? What's it, what it means is we're all children of God. That was not a business model, but he changed the world because he had a purpose that was aligned with the universal principle, which means God is your ultimate partner. And when you know that, then you have visions where you're going to do the impossible, which is why my lovely nephew put on my arm my 60th birthday, Matthew 19, 26, with God, all things are possible, which means with man, it's impossible. With God, all things are possible. You have a universal principle. This, And that's why this model isn't about business. You know, Gandhi didn't try to start a business but he overthrew British rule in India. I mean, these guys got assassinated, but I, I doubt you're gonna get assassinated for being a chiropractor, probably not gonna happen. This model is about creating an unstoppable, I wanna add the word bulletproof, culture, movement, in your team and patients that leads to social change that doesn't cave in over the economy. It doesn't cave in over COVID. It doesn't cave in over money. Because when we went through COVID, here's another example. Uh, ben Gillis in uh, Grand Rapids, Michigan, saw between 500 and 550 a week. COVID hit 80% of his patients were already in the lifestyle. And in Michigan, very liberal state, they couldn't have that many people in their parking lot because people would tell on them, right? So they only saw, you know, corrective, some corrective care patients. So he was like, man, we're at 130 a week. And he called me, he goes, this is the only bitch about having a lifestyle practice. Over 400 of the 500 some visits, about 530, were all lifestyle. Now, guess what? As soon as it ended, what happened? Woo! Clouds come back because they had a belief system. Because they had a lifestyle, they had a subconscious habit. And that's what I began to talk about yesterday. So it doesn't matter. Same thing with Chris and Lauren DiCarlo in New York. They couldn't see, they couldn't have 400 people a week in their parking lot. So they dropped down to about 100 a week. Man, as soon as everything let up, whoa, back up again that fast. And that's what happens. As a result, you gain time and financial freedom. Why? Because of the people that you create, because of the movement, because you build a legacy that affects generations beyond you. Now imagine... If the person you're talking today and you look at them like, wow, what if someone in your family born 30 years from today, the pregnant mother got adjusted all the way through pregnancy, all the other kids in the family are living chiropractic, they don't get vaccinated, they, don't, they won't go to a hospital to have a kid, but if there's an emergency, they may have that set up, they don't need it to have them at home, but they may have a birthing center, who knows, what they want to do is protect their children from the world. Isn't that what we want to do? Isn't that what parents want to do? And that kid is adjusted from birth. 30 years from today, who are you creating today that that's going to happen? That's now that is a business model. <laughs> that's a business model that's going to last way beyond. Now, the old guys on here, Steve, <laughs> you and me, Steve, we're the old, probably the oldest guy. Hey, you know, Tim's catching up, man. Chip, Tim's pretty close. You know, we're all within a couple of years. That's what we're doing. So we like that. So here's the model. We got a principle, man, universal law. Then it leads to a purpose. You guys have seen Then it leads to core values. Then we set standards. Then we have underneath here, let's go way up here, strategy. Now, and then we have systems. Let's go through this. Now, you guys, see, then we have promotion, then we have finance. Now, here's what I found from management group. Well, I got the principle. I got the purpose. Now you go right where? Straight to promotion. 
well, we have systems, but systems don't meet these. We don't know what our core values are. Well, I understand the principle and purpose. We don't have standards. What's our strategy? Patient education. What's our system? Day one, day two, maybe a workshop, but really, what do they go to? Purpose to promotion. How do they build all this? They build, they try and reach their purpose through promotion, and they forget the most important part. And when you're done today, you will see how promotion is how you process people. Marketing is changing beliefs. Advertising is Google Ads. Advertising is making videos. If you can make a video that changes beliefs, then it's marketing. But your real marketing is one through five here and one through six. So let's go through these. We're going to go through these one by one. What's what's the definition principle? Comprehensive fundamental law. It's a law. Isn't the principle divine principle? What's the principle of chiropractic? We're energy beings, right? We're spiritual beings. We're creating like this an image of God. That energy, we have a spirit. That energy moves. Energy moves through our nervous system. That's what bays energy. Our nervous system is consciousness. The spine, if you look up, Google, the spiritual energy of the spine is the axis between heaven and earth. It's a basic idea or rule that explains or controls. You look at the seven chakras, which are also related to the spine. What you got seven chakra, right? Divine is divinity moving through intuition into our voice right into the heart electromagnetic energy into our will into our passion and then rooting into the earth right that's bringing heaven to earth that is our spine and nervous system health is energy man here's the principle three words don't complicate it it's that freaking easy energy is in the nervous system our spinal cord is our lifeline that's it this is what people have to get. If they don't get this, they are not going to live a lifestyle. They're buying a product or service. You're going to have a 40 PVA. Health is energy. You have to make sure they get that 100%. So let's look at this. Albert Einstein, pretty smart guy. This from the Healed Seminar. We are slowed down sound and light waves. Isn't that true? What's that? Energy. Sound wave hurts, you know. There's different organ systems that relate to different frequencies. Go, Let's go to Tesla. We are vibrational frequencies. If you want to heal, think frequency and vibration. So we are a walking bundle of frequencies. What's that? Divine intelligence. What is that? Innate intelligence, innate, inborn. Tuned into the cosmos, universal intelligence. So we are universal intelligence that is inborn in us. That's why it's innate. Innate means inborn. But we are, we are not just innate intelligence. We are universal intelligence that's, that is inborn within us. Gen Genesis 127, we're creating like just an image of God. We are souls, divine spirits, dressed up. What's that mean? Inhabiting sacred biochemical garments. That's our human body. Now let's stop right there. Now, this is the yield system. If you're a spiritual being, do you want to wait till your anatomical eyes close to realize your spiritual eyes have been open the whole time? That that's really who you are. And your nervous system is the connection from your spirit into your human form. The spine is what gets in the way. Right? That's it. That's the obstruction. And our bodies are the instruments, our physical expression or tool through which our souls play their music, our soul purpose. Now, get this. What if every person knows they're subluxated? Now, they can come in with lateral epicondylitis. Doc, I've been playing tennis. My elbow hurts. Then, you know, can I play my golf game? I got a shoulder problem, knee problem ankle problem, I got headaches, I got back pain, I got heart problems, whatever I got. But do you believe innately they're a spiritual being and they know they're subluxated? And if you don't teach them the principle, which they will automatically align with if you keep it simple enough, because they are there to fulfill their sole purpose and their subluxated spine is blocking them. Who cares why they came in? 
this is how you create a legacy, right? You got to move beyond the consciousness of I'm trying to get a patient. Now, you don't have to do anything. But if you do, you will build a legacy. Now, energy is health. That's it. Everybody's got to get it. It's as simple as that. Three words, patients can repeat it. Energy is healing. The level of energy expressed is directly proportional to your level of health, right? That's a universal law. It only works one way. Your only concern is the health and function of the spinal cord because that's the conduit and lifeline of energy of the body. That's it. It's the only thing you're concerned with. If you think people are coming for an adjustment and that's all you talk about, that's why you look at your percent kept appointments and they're not as high as you want them to be. Guess what? Most doctors don't even track their percent kept appointments. Hey, Jose's here, right on. Hey, you guys, great to see you. Hey, Susie. So you guys have seen this, but man, is this important. Okay, so what else? Every patient has a sole purpose and their spine and nervous system are determining if they live that. Do you see that that is your purpose? That's it. Man, expand your consciousness and you will say different things, okay? Spinal correction is only the first step to recover the LC spinal cord so they can have confidence in the health of their life. Spinal correction is just repairing the damage because they never took care of their spine and nervous system. That's Now, that's also a product or service. So if you think your job is to fix their spine, that's why you have a 40 PVA. Sorry, all these, these things are like blocking this PowerPoint. So if you want to create an unstoppable culture, business, movement, that gives you total freedom. Every patient must know, not just know, they have to believe that health is energy and the spinal cord is their lifeline. So I was on a coaching call the other day and someone said, you know, I told them that, and I believe this was Tim, you know, and they said, but you know, they just didn't react. They acted like it was fact. Well, it is a fact, but what's really the thing now, we're going to go through this tomorrow. Do they believe it? Do they realize how they suffered? Because if someone gave you an asthma inhaler when you were a kid and everybody else is running out on the field at recess and you got to stop and take an inhaler, how do you feel about yourself? And now you're 35, 36 years old and you still get exercise induced asthma. You suffered 30 years. You believed this was your identity. They never told you that. This is what we're going to go through tomorrow. They have to believe it, that that is life, health, energy. And if they don't believe it, why would they refer their family? Why would they come as a chiropractic healthcare lifestyle? Nothing else matters if they don't believe this. And that's it. When they get this, lifestyle is automatic. And that's it. And then you get referrals. Now, the, the people, sorry, in elite, that have gotten this, aren't getting referrals one at a time. They're getting referrals two and three at a time in the first week. Why? Because patients believe it. They just don't know it. Tomorrow, we're going to go through how to get them to believe it on day one. Now, also, the doctors using the Back to Health book. If you're not an elite client, you may not know about this. Go to EliteCoachingLLC.com, EliteCoachingLLC.com. Get this book. Read it. You can get a free digital copy. Read it because it was written for patients that will be so convincing. Now, after studying human behavior going on my 26th year, I wrote this book so people would get it. Why? Because this book can be better than most workshops if you know how to use it. And we're going to show you how to use it tomorrow. This is a phenomenal resource that you just tell them, hey, go home and read it. Read it with your wife. Come back tomorrow. Patients that have done this, spouses come back ready to sign up. This is a powerful, powerful resource. Okay, that's principle. Now you get it. They have to get health as energy. So what's purpose? Well, you got principle. Now the principle, the purpose must express principle. So what is the purpose? Let's look at this, shall we? That's number two. What is the purpose to find? Reason 
which something is done. Okay, that's that's it right there. Has one's intention or objective, determines or have a reason for what you do. Assign a purpose that's too big, so you need God. So you think about, wow, creating a legacy is pretty big. Because if I'm going to do the impossible shit, I need God. If you can build a practice on your own and you don't need God, you're not thinking big enough. And that's why you have a 40 PVA or a 50 PVA. You got to think bigger, man. So what's the purpose for autonomy? We're going to create a legacy that affects generations. Now imagine if it's affecting generations, they're coming because they have purpose. They're coming because they understand. Spinal cord is my lifeline. That's the way it works. I have to take care of it. So how did I get to this? Well, I mentioned this yesterday. How do I get car? How do I get patients to look at chiropractic like I did? How do I look at it? I got a spinal cord, man. It will be 100% healthy, which is why I lay on a general every night, which is why flexion is desk, extension is life, you know, which is why I know healthy spine and nervous system is foundation of life of the body. When patients believe and live chiropractic healthcare lifestyle, because they get health is energy, they will live it for life. Because when does their life depend on the health of their spinal cord, right? Until they're six feet under. What's the difference between the spinal cord of a person six feet under and the patient standing in front of you? What's the difference? What's in the spinal cord of a, what's not in the spinal cord of a person that's dead, of a corpse, versus what is in the spinal cord in you? Energy. That's all they need to know, man. That's all they need to know. And that energy is your life. Keep it simple. They'll get it. Trust me. Therefore, you must have a relationship. If you're going to affect generations, you must have a relationship with the next generation. Why? Because you're going to teach that generation in a way that they're going to teach their kids. So we went through this yesterday. What are we going to teach them? No, tell your mommy, no needles. Tell your mommy, if you ever get sick, we're going to see Dr. Fred. Mommy, I have the sniffles. I need to go see Dr. Fred. Mommy, I fell down off the monkey bars. I think I'm okay, but when are we seeing Dr. Fred? Mommy, we don't see pediatricians. No pediatricians, right? You get agreements from the parents, from the kids, from the grandparents, and from the extended family. Well, how do you get those agreements? They all have to come in and see you. Why? Because the initial patient had purpose. Why? Because they understood life and health or energy, and they want a healthy family. Now, what would I say to a person? Well, you know, it's my sister. I don't know. La, 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 la. Hey, I get it. I was raised by an RN. Took years. <laughs> Well, it didn't take that long, but now all my family is living in chiropractic. My mom's 87 years old. She has a lordotic cervical curve and no disc degeneration. And a couple of martinis at night don't hurt either. So, <laughs> that's funny. I always, I, my sisters are always saying, God, mom's such a pain in the ass. I'm like, what? When I talk to her, she's great. Yeah, that's because she calls you after a martini. Thank you very much. Love that woman. We share mutual core values. Your purpose is to get the family tree, not just the immediate family. To get the whole family tree. Can you see how it affects generations? Now, we're going to go through this tomorrow. Why? Well, I'll show you your purpose. Let's move to your purpose. I'm going to get to that, and you guys are going to be blown away with this one. So look at this. Imagine you're a spirit. Now, Psalm 139, 16. Your eyes saw my substance being yet unformed. Why? Because you're in the spirit world. And your book, they were all written the days fashioned for me before there were none of them. So here you are up in heaven. Now, this picture is a picture of Christ. So whatever your belief systems are, you're like, what is he hugging you? Okay, you're going down into the physical world. <laughs> like, dude, give me a hug now. <laughs> Because we're going to put this veil over you. That was Neil Donald Walsh's conversation with God. It's like a veil of ignorance. You're going to feel this spiritual energy in front of you. 
but you're going to look at the world and you're going to look to your parents for love. By the way, they don't know how to love themselves. You're going to go through all this trauma and you're going to be a chiropractor and you're going to tell people, people are going to tell you you're not a real doctor and doc just cracked my back and you're going to have this purpose and you're going to spend your life trying to discover who you really are, your purpose, and you're here to change the world. You're going to start a new healthcare system. Okay, ready? Go. And then all of a sudden, boom, there you are. And there's this baby, right? And you think you chose chiropractic? It's like, dude, if you don't believe this, this is the only thing that keeps you going. Like, you got to believe this is why you're here. By the way, you're here at a time when we went through COVID. Vaccinations are the most dangerous they've ever been. More and more people are questioning medical care and pharmaceutical companies. And you have the best health care system ever created. Do you think there might be a reason? <laughs> What's your belief system? Like, if you can't believe this, then you're going to build a practice. And you may be very successful. But every spiritual being seeks to know their true self. One reason why people fail, they don't have a compelling reason. Well, I don't know any reason more compelling than this. You, you're in this world as an innate being, divine being, here for this reason. Does it get any more powerful than that? Matthew 22, 14, many are called, few are chosen, right? Everyone is called. How do you know you're called? You're in this physical body, so you are called. But why isn't everybody chosen? No, you're called and chosen, but not everyone chooses. Now, look at what you're going through tonight. You chose. You're going through it all this week. You chose. And you maybe think, Fred's a little crazy. Well, I'm not crazy. I'm on purpose. But the crazy people change the world. Hey, crazy people actually think they can do it. But you know why they're not crazy? Because they know they can't do it themselves. Isn't that fascinating? And if they do, they die of cancer. We know we can't do it ourselves. You chose. You chose, motherfucker. Pardon my language. <laughs> you chose. You're on here. Trust me. You chose. So what are you choosing now? Are you going to choose to change your belief systems that you chose? Now, why are you choosing it? Because you're born for it. It's why you're here. So you might as well just say yes. Look at this right here. Just say yes. Yes to what? Oh my God, what am I saying yes to? Whatever it takes to discover and fulfill your purpose. That's it. They think, oh my God, that's dangerous. Well, here's what happens when you go, God, I just say yes. Show me the way. Whatever you put in front of me is what I'm going to do. And all I need to do is one day at a time. Now, I heard this thing, John Maxwell. If you go out and you want to cut this huge tree, right? What's he say? Sharpen your axe. And that was Abraham Lincoln, I think, said, well, if I'm going to cut down a tree, I'm going to spend 80% 80 my, 80 of my time sharpening my axe, 20% of my time swinging the axe. So if you go out and you just do five chops a day, don't do 50, don't do 100, five chops, put the axe down, come out the next day, five chops, next day, five chops, next day, five chops. Persistence wins over talent. So all you're saying yes to is tell me what to do today. Stay present. Stay present. You can do it. Imagine if you did one thing, one action step, the 20% of actions that get you 80% of results, and you did one thing every day. Well, every day, that's 365 things. Well, let's take a few days off, 300 things a year. In three years, you did 900 things. You're already in your purpose. You're already in your purpose. Do one thing in what we're showing you. Do one thing in elite coaching. Join the online group. Go to a boot camp. Get in the coaching thing and do one thing a day. And you, I guarantee you, I promise you, you will create a legacy. And you'll have time and money free in the universe. Once you say yes, the universe will conspire. And all of a sudden, things, people, stuff starts showing up.
hey man, announced this today. Tim, we did a personal boot camp at his clinic. Day and a half with his team, went through both boot camps. Today, they had 155 scheduled and saw 152. It is possible. 152 out of 155. They're just getting started. Vision, 1,000 a week, and we're going to do it. They're going to bust through 500 probably this week. Again, now things and people will transition out of your life. So when you say yes, what's going to happen? God's going to start moving stuff, man. You said yes. So all the things that don't need to be your life are going to move out. Other things are going to move in. So don't cling on what's going out the back window. You better turn around and embrace the blessings coming in the front door. So these are spiritual principles of purpose. And if you don't have this mindset, you won't create a legacy, but you're, you're created for it. So what are we going to do? Pray with gratitude. By the way, these are all healed principles for everyone that's going to go in October. And if you don't know about it, call me. Thank you, God, that you're showing me every step of the way. Thank you they are clearing the path and providing all the people, all the conditions according to your divine infinite abundance. Because if I had to rely on mine, I might have a self-esteem problem and think about the wrong things. So <laughs> thank God that your divine infinite abundance moves through me, that my spirit and your spirit are one, that you are within me, the temple is within me, and I radiate your divine infinite love and abundance every second of every day, no matter what happens, no matter how I look at it, how my mind's going to look at it, I'm still, my heart is radiating your divine infinite abundance, and all things are done in your name, and you're putting all the right people, right situations, now I'm developing my skill that I can be faithful. How's that prayer? Maybe you want to say that say that every day. So <laughs> saying three levels of purpose. Okay, create a legacy the last generation. We're like, wow, that's pretty big. How the heck am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to show you this tomorrow. I'm going to do that by breaking generational patterns breaking generational patterns in health, generational patterns in posture. Now, when I do that, now what my purpose is bring heaven to earth, create a new healthcare system. Now, look at this. When that's what I want to do, how am I going to create a new healthcare system? I got to talk about generational patterns. So when I get a patient, I'm going to go through this tomorrow. Who'd you get it from? Your health problem and posture. Who are you giving it to? Now, when they understand health is energy, you have generational patterns because of diet, because of posture, because of lifestyle, because of belief systems. You shatter those. Your goal is to break ge generational patterns. Who do you break generational patterns with? You don't break it with the previous generation. I'm not going to break it with my mom and dad. It's not because I can't change their beliefs because my mom goes to chiropractor every week. She's got lower down a curve, no degenerative disc in her neck. You're not going to break it with me, right? Because we fixed the generational patterns. Dalton is a generation under me. Thank you, Dalton, for being here. You're not going to break it with him, although he's not going to get sick because he's going to be a chiropractor and he lives this. Who do you completely break it with? The generation that's not born yet. So we don't have health problems. We're breaking the generational pattern in our mind. But I had allergies. I had, oh, I had stomach aches. I had headaches. I had all those things. I wasn't adjusted from birth. The, the pattern is never created. Although we may have healed it, it's never created in the generations that aren't born yet. Think about that. That's the generational pattern that you're breaking. Now, what if you focused on that? Now, all of a sudden, create a legacy the last generation. Jeez, that's easy. That's automatic. <laughs> like, oh, my God, I thought that was big. Hell no, that's nothing. I got to change the whole healthcare system. But if you can break generational patterns, create a legacy the last generations, you will and then you give all your patients purpose to do that. You're going to create a new healthcare system.
then that becomes automatic. And that's where this isn't hard. But you got to do what you may have thought was impossible and realize I can do this. Now, imagine what's going to happen when you take your last breath. I'm going to be like, I did it. You know, I, I did this life coaching interview when I was going through life coaching. And this is like 20 years ago. And they do a future self meditation. And, and you go, we do this actually in Healed. So you see your future self, you know, 20 years from today. And, you know, I'm in this big house, have a big party and everybody's celebrating that all those visions are done. And then I was sitting there in this meditation and I thought, wow, man, all this momentum of chiropractic, we're changing the healthcare system. I saw hundreds of people that were chiropractors and they were out there doing it, changing generations. And then I, and I was only like my age now. And uh, I said, oh my God. I don't want my soul, I don't want my spirit to leave my body. I got to find another purpose. I don't want to die yet. And then shortly after that, healed came, came to me. So it's like, man, so that's the way I want to go. I want to go with, I'm done. I did it. I did everything I was called to do. Now I can go. And then you realize you have been in the here the whole time. And you realize there is no death. There's only life on another plane. So there really is no death. There's only a release of your physical form. Now we get into core values. Let's look at core values, right? What are core values? Fine. Personal ethics, ideal, that guide you. When you're making decisions, building relationships, and solving problems. Does that sound like how you're teaching your team and patients? Core values guide you. Common beliefs. You create a culture with common beliefs, behaviors, and language. Health is energy. Chiropractic is a lifestyle. We affect generations. They create boundaries. That's how you stay focused. They uphold integrity, morals, ethics, relationships, and conviction. It's your team's true north. Now you see this when you go to the boot camps, like a hockey rink. The glass and the boards are your core values, right? Your strategy, changing beliefs, that's the middle of the ice. Your systems and how you do it, that's the middle of the ice. Now let's look at Wayne Gretzky. How did he become so great? Because I look to where the puck is going. What's powerful about this? You know we're going to go through this in systems. You know where you're going to end up on day one. You know what type of patient you're going to create. You know what beliefs you're looking to identify and change. You are directing where the puck goes. You know where the goal is. The other team has no idea where you're taking them. They think they're coming in with back pain. You have a strategy like the movie Miracles, the first time they played Russians. They're like a freight train. You can't stop them do you see yourself like that you can't stop me from that goal i know what we're going to create i'm just going to determine how we get there right you let the patient determine it but what drives it what keeps it in play the boundaries so if you don't control their focus someone else or the world will time money insurance people come in i just want to use my insurance what do you do? You let them, when they, when you let them control your folks, when you, well, you know, insurance has limited coverage and they're not going to pay for everything. La, 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 la. And you're hailing that shit up front before they even know health is energy. Well, I don't want to get on a program. Make sure you tell the doctor. I don't want to get x-rays. That's on the first phone call. Great. No problem. I'll make sure the doctor knows. Now, there's a difference between doing what's right and doing the right thing. So what's right? Well, Mr. Jones, on the front phone, first phone call, you know, we have to take x-rays. We go, la, 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 we hear, click, burr, dial tone. That's doing things right. Yeah, you told the truth, but that's not the right thing. Did you create a lifestyle patient that's going to affect generations? No, you didn't even get a day one. So there's systems and core values 
that guide what you say. Now, that would be a system. We're going to get into that. I'm not going to handle all the objections today. But you have to control their mindset or the world will. Core values of your purpose, like footsteps in the sand. Chiropractic is healthcare lifestyle. Why do I have footsteps in the sand? So the footsteps on the right are them walking. The one coming on the left is them walking where they intersect. They walked into your clinic. Now you're walking through life together. That's what it is. That means chiropractic healthcare lifestyle. That means families must live chiropractic lifestyle. You build lifelong relationships. You're walking with them through life for generations. Now, what's that mean? What are you going to say? Hey, we're going to be together for years. You know, it's like, it's like we're going to know each other for decades. This way this works. I see you every week for decades, right? That's why he's telling them in the workshops. We create purpose-driven leaders. They have a message. This is a close. They have a message that can change not only generations in their family, but can help people that are suffering with health problems that they have no idea their spine and nervous system is controlling. You have a purpose to become chiropractic, become the primary health care for everybody they know. Every patient must refer. If they don't refer, they don't have purpose. And if they don't have purpose, they don't understand health is energy. And if they understand health is energy, but they don't have a purpose to tell other people, they don't understand the power that they have in the message. But that's core value. So you're going to make sure not only they understand it, they have a purpose. They must refer their whole family tree. Because why would you have a patient come in, bring their kids, but their nieces and nephews are getting vaccinated? Why would you do that? That doesn't make sense. Then you're not convicted. You're either not clear on your core values or you're not convicted to your core values. The only way to break generational health patterns, man, you got to know your core values. You got to be 100% convicted to them. So if you're convicted to it, then you're going to do it. And I'll show you how. Now, here's your personal values of your purpose. What are your personal core values? You build and nurture lifelong relationships. That's it. Everywhere you go, you walk with each patient through all their life challenges. You know, and that's like, let's say somebody has their spouse passes away. Hey, it's really hard. Man, I can't even imagine, but you're under a lot of emotional stress. And now's the most important time to be adjusted. Because not only your, your spouse, not only do you have to deal with that and your kids, but you're in neurological overwhelm, right? This is what's going to keep you healthy and safe. You influence mindsets of patients, especially children. Now I'm going to go over time here because I got way too many stories. So uh, Susie, you're on here with a guy that came in, hadn't been in a while, right? Duh, my back hurts, been sleeping on, on a sofa every day for a year or two years or whatever it was. I forgot. I'm sorry. So simple question, why have you been sleeping on your sofa? My wife died and I can't sleep in my bed in my bedroom. So what's this? Man, when your spinal cord is under stress, you're under sympathetic override. You can't process the loss of your wife, the sadness. And then the great story was, you know, a few days later, you know, he comes in after a couple adjustments. You know, I remember how much joy I had riding horses. Why would he get adjusted and then remember joyful experience? Then a couple of weeks later, he's got a new girlfriend. He's going on a date. Oh, my God, man. Look at the power of taking stress off your nervous system. What a great story that is. Every patient is your responsibility for their health decisions, meaning they come to you. And if they don't come to you, that's your responsibility because there's something you didn't teach them. Your family and the mindset of the extended family is your responsibility. They're within reach, right? You embody the purpose and core values everywhere you go. Everywhere you go, you talk about chiropractic. We're continually referring patients. You schedule new patient appointments everywhere you are. Hey, if I'm in the gym and I was practicing, I'd be like, okay, dude, 
We're scheduling it tomorrow. You're either coming in today or tomorrow, which day, morning or afternoon. Look, we're not waiting. You've been subluxated long enough. Let's just schedule. I know what my few patient times are. Let's just do it right now. This isn't like, oh, my God, they might get offended. Well, then your message wasn't very strong. They don't understand health is energy. And you don't speak with enough certainty. Speak with certainty. Be convicted of your core values. And then all of a sudden, you're signing up people wherever you go. Every relationship is love-based. Right? We got a patient coming in calling uh, Dr. Tony Fedoric, who will hopefully be listening to this at some point. He's in a wheelchair. He's in a wheelchair in a gym. And he's got some function in his legs. So I go up to him, dude, what happened? Broke my neck 20 years ago. I got some use to my arms, pretty good use to my arms, but, you know, I have mild use to my legs. I'm like, dude, if you have any use of your legs, your spinal cord is working. Now what we need to do is see if we can make it work better. Because if you can get 20% more energy through there, you're going to have more strength in your legs. You're going to have a better life. And this guy, I know this guy, special technique. Nobody else does it. You have to go here and get x rays just get x-rayed and let's see what your spine looks like. So uh, hopefully he called this week. He said he was going to. But guess what? I'm not going to let him go because next time I see him in the gym, dude, did you call? What are you waiting for? Let's go. You got an appointment? Yeah, I got an appointment next week. Awesome. What day? Great. All right, man. And now here's what he said. I ran into him in the locker room. He said, will you look at my x-rays after he takes them? Why? Because I speak with so much fucking certainty because health is energy. It's a universal fucking law. Stop questioning it. He wants me to look at his x-rays. Why? Because I know it's going to work. I'm not saying it's going to be 100%, but you can't stop energy when you take the dams out of the river. You can't stop it. It's a universal law. Right? Get the whole family tree, baby. Look at all these. There's one, two, oops, one fell down. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. What if you saw, oh, there's one underground. What if you saw 18 people? What if your standard was 18 referrals from each patient? You better start hiring more team members, man. I knew this guy, Dan Yachter, who practiced in Florida. Some of you, Steve, you probably know him. Tim, you probably know him. Saw 2,000 a week. His standard was every patient referred 20 patients. That's why he saw 2,000 a week. Now, he did a very fast patient education, so I don't know what his PBA was, but he got a boatload of new patients. Imagine if you have a high PBA and you're getting the family tree. You're going to need a bigger office. Okay, principle, purpose, core values, standards. Here we go, man. Now we're going to pick up the pace. Dude, you got to set the bar at 7-2, and you got to jump over it. If you don't jump over it, you're not going to create a legacy. What's the definition? They're a level of quality. That should say everything. A moral rule that should be obeyed. It's not that it should be. In this case, it is obeyed. A pattern and model that's accepted. Morals, ethics, habits. It's established by authority. Who's the authority? You are the visionary. God is the authority. High standards are, that are upheld make exceptional businesses that fulfill their purpose. High standards create legacies. This is the problem in chiropractic. They set the bar at 7-2. We want people to live a lifestyle, but then they use patient education. And then what happens? I got a 40 PBA. So they set the bar at 7-2, they run under the under the bar at five feet, and then they jump on the mat like they won the gold medal. I'm pretty sure if you're watching track and field in this Olympics, the people aren't doing that. Now, they may knock the bar off, but at least they try. At least they're at a high level. They have high standards. So what are standards? We're going to set standards, and this is everybody beyond your skill level. So you grow and mature into them. How do you mature into them? Spiritually. You mature into them with your heart. 
that's how you mature into them. And then you develop the skill level and now you have it in your heart and your mind. So just know you don't have that skill level. Just know if you're not an elite, you don't have that skill level. But do you want that skill level and you want to mature in your heart into that level of purpose? That's autonomy. That's how, like I said, when I went to sell my practice, the broker showed it to two people and he's like, screw it, I'm buying this. He wouldn't show it to anybody else because he was afraid somebody else was going to make an offer. Standards guide your conviction, problem solving with highest purpose. That's it, man. You jump over the bar. You commit to the standards, determine what you say, question your ask. Your purpose is to raise your standard and team, create high quality team members, patients, and members in your culture. Standards move your purpose from customer service to self empowerment. What's that mean? You're going to say things that people may not be comfortable with, but when you call them, to a higher standard, that's when they respect you and appreciate you. If you try to make them comfortable, they mow right over you because you're not strong enough to take over the most valuable things in life. Their health, their family, their money, their whole family tree, their next newborn. You can't be weak or think customer service is going to do that. You got to call them into who God created them to be, or they won't do it. Or they'll do it a little bit. And then you just won't get there. Give them purpose and you create a movement. That's it, gang. So what is this? Standards for autonomy. So how do you create something that runs by itself like a machine? Your core values have to be at least 80 to 100%. So what's that mean? Well, what's our core value? Chiropractic healthcare lifestyle. So what's the standard? Every patient that walks in will know it's healthcare lifestyle. Tomorrow, I'm going to show you how to do that from day one. Every patient brings their kid and family members. Hey, if your core value is, is family lifestyle, then every parent has to do that. Now, you may think, oh, my God, man, I'm begging parents. There's just some parents that won't do it. Well, here's the thing. Well, I've talked to them 45 times and they still won't do it. So I gave up. Well, here's what you learn. 45 things that didn't work. <laughs> oh, that sucks. You just learned 45 things that didn't work. Hey, man, if Colonel Sanders gave up on 45 things, you wouldn't have been eating Kentucky Fried Chicken. One night at two in the morning after you drank a bunch at, at a, in a bar when you were 20-something years old. <laughs> or you wouldn't be eating the hot dogs at the hot dog stand when you walked out of the bar. Now, that's an entrepreneur. They don't even have to be good hot dogs. You just stand right outside of the bar at 2 a.m. And you're, and you're going to run out of freaking hot dogs, right? The goal isn't the quality. The goal is what's the demand. You got to create a demand for health care. So you got to learn what does work. Well, I can show you that. 80% of spouses attend day to our It's like, holy shit, I quit asking spouses, man. Or we get 40%. Here's where the bar is. Develop the skill and you can do this. 100% attend the new patient workshop. They have to be there for time and money. Or what do you get? I have to talk to my spouse. And then what are you looking at? The back of their head that you will never see again. Doesn't work that way. Every patient wants to break generational health planning. They want to break it. Every patient refers or they don't have purpose or they don't understand health is energy or they don't understand they're a spiritual being here to contribute to the lives of others. The team must refer because if the team doesn't refer, then they must not care about your purpose. The team lives chiropractic with their families. Otherwise, how can they teach what they're not living? The leader visionary leads the standards because they live it first. Three reasons why patients quit. They didn't believe you. Health is energy. They didn't understand you. Patient education. Or they didn't trust you. Customer service. Done. You didn't communicate effectively. Patient education. They didn't feel any urgency. You did progression. But you didn't tell them as you stand there. 
you know, energy's not getting into your organs. You didn't say it was happening right now and getting worse right now. You didn't help them raise their standards on how they want to live with their family. They didn't understand health was energy. They didn't understand their own core values. You didn't align with their values and you didn't give them purpose. That's why. I'm going to show you how to do all of that. Why? You didn't align and acknowledge their values or give them purpose. That's day five, by the way. Day five this week. It's also the second boot camp. All of this is the second boot camp. We're teaching the retention lifestyle boot camp. We're teaching in three weeks in Atlanta. If you're not going, hey, I know the people that can't make it. If you're not going, you're not in elite, please call me because this will make change everything. That's so about principle, purpose, core value, standards. Ooh, what do we got next? How are we going to do that? How are we going to jump over the bar? Strategy. Wow, look at that, man. Isn't that fascinating? Are you guys getting this? Because you guys in Elite that are on here, I know you've seen this. But hopefully this is coming into your heart now. So what's the strategy? Well, first of all, biggest chokehold on a business, I got this business mastery, is psychology, mindset. What's that mean? You want to build a practice, not a legacy? What else does that mean? I'm trying to close a patient, let alone break generational habits. And the skill set, strategy. Well, I'm trying to get a patient with patient education. 40 PBA. As opposed to, we're going to break a generational health pattern and you're going to change belief systems. Very different. I guess subluxation is not in their spine, baby. It's in their mind. You can't fix the one in their mind. You don't get to fix the one in their body. Change their mind, change their life. How do you do that? PVA, PVA is a mindset. What's that mean? Would you agree a, four, a 30 PVA person is very different mindset than a 100 PVA person? Now, guess what? Guess what changes their mindset? Fixed mindset, patient education. Growth mindset, changing beliefs. Change your strategy, you change their mind. Change their mind, you change their life. Change their life, you change generations. Change generations, you fulfill your purpose. Change generations, create a legacy, you change healthcare. You change healthcare, you don't need to show up for work because that's their healthcare. <laughs> they don't need you. Do they love you? Yeah. Do they need you? No. Here's what I would tell people in the workshop. I'll tell them, look, hey, I may move one day, you know, I, I got 35 more years of my life. Who knows where I'm going to live? Right now, I love where I live. I can walk to the beach. Am I going to live there forever? No. I mean, I had practices in California, North Carolina, and Washington. Where are those thousands of people? I hope they're still living chiropractic. I've run into people 30-some-odd years later. They're still living in chiropractic. And generations I never met are living chiropractic. Why? Because I was able to change their beliefs. So what are we going to do? That's the strategy. We went through that yesterday. Simplest way to build your lifestyle culture is not a more new patients. New, will new patients grow your practice? Absolutely. Will it keep your practice at level? Absolutely not. And it's the hard way. If you want it to be easy, increase your PVA. If you at 200 a week with a 40 PVA, that means you're getting five new patients. Five new patients at 200 a week is a 40 PVA. 80 PVA at five new patients times, times 80, right, is 400. You can double your practice by doubling your PVA and not working any harder. You think, well, 400 is harder. Adjusting people isn't harder. Shit, that's easy. You know, that's the easy part. You know what's hard? Having a 40 PVA on Monday selling Wednesday, on Wednesday selling Friday, on Friday selling Monday, and then watching them quit. That's freaking hard. Having people show up on time, fired up, like, come on, kids. Doc Fred's in a hurry. We were busy. Sorry, Doc Fred. Can't talk to you today. Hey, I don't want to talk, but I do want to give you a hug. Every time you say that, I know you're perfect. Thank you very much. And they're like, I don't have time to hug you. No, really, let me hug you. 
PDA is a mindset. To do this, you need to create a different person with different beliefs. We doubled our PA, PBA in 90 days, added 70 people a day in 90 days. Now we end up in five months, we ended up 150 days, we ended up adding 110 people a day. So who needs to be different first? If you need to create a different type of person, who needs to think differently first? Your mindset is creating your current PBA. Oh, that hurts. Oh my God, that hurts. So then you got to change your mindset. You want to learn how? <laughs> this is what we're doing. 90% lifestyle. 40 to 50 PBA. What's this mean? What are these colors? Oh, I just want to use my insurance. Well, you know, I quit at first phase of care. Doc, uh, just get rid of my back pain. Okay. Uh, what's this? Well, maybe I'll go through all correction and maybe I'll, maybe, maybe I'll sign up for lifestyle. These are all different mindsets, right? Now what's lifestyle? You do hundred PBA. We all got the same thing. That's culture. That's a movement. That's purpose. That's a mindset. So we've cracked the code. You guys have seen this. The code in a vault is a mindset. What do management groups do? Okay. Let's tell them, let's give them what they want. Tell them what they need. Pain care, pain care. Yes, maybe organ problems, health care, open the door. You know, you get some cash, you get a prepay, then you look up. Wow, there's a second door. That's a resign. First door, first visit to visit 40. Second door, visit 41 to visit 80. Whoa, that's a different mindset. So if you get that 50% of the time, you're leading the profession. Now you get more cash. If you can't live off the cash on your resigns, you have a marketing business. You have an advertising business. Then you look up third door. That's lifestyle door. That's visit 81 to visit 200. That's a very different mindset and code. Here's the key. The code to the third door opens all the doors. You get them to lifestyle right from day one. First door is open, second door is open, third door is open, boom, all the way through. You're getting 90% in the lifestyle. Then all you got to do is keep doing it long enough. You got 400 people paying you $200 to $500, $700 a month for their family. <laughs> You're a multimillionaire just on your lifestyle. What's that mean? All patients have one problem. They don't live a chiropractic lifestyle. That's it. All oh, that's their own problem. That's code to the third door. So let's look at this. What's a person look like that didn't live a chiropractic lifestyle? Hey, look, man, I'm already in grade school. I got a forward head posture, teenager, backpack, done, over. Thank you very much. Flexion is death. Extension is life. That's why we don't do that, right? Fast way to build lifestyle, culture, and PBA. Be 100% confident. They know health is dependent on energy as health. That's your only focus. If they don't know that, you will never get 100 PBA. Any reduction in energy flows, a weakened spinal structure will lead to health problems and disease. Time and gravity always win. They're inevitable. Stop selling chiropractic. Stop selling chiropractic. Believe energy is your life. Stop selling chiropractic. When you sell chiropractic, you're selling a program. When you sell health as energy, they're investing in a life. Now they need chiropractic to have max energy. That's it. Have them adapt the purpose. They start with their family and help as many people as they can. That's now you have a legacy. Now you have autonomy. Tell, every, tell this to everyone you know. Why is the guy in the wheelchair coming in? I don't even know the guy. Because he knows energy moves through his spinal cord and he has greater potential than what he's living right now. That's it. If you think anything beyond that, you're thinking too much. Then you're going into patient education. You're not solving their health problem. You're evaluating how they live, their lifestyle. What are their beliefs that led to their lifestyle? Your goal is identify past beliefs and reframe them into lifestyle beliefs. Then how do they want to live the rest of their life? We're going through this tomorrow. 
So now what they believe brought them to this point because of what they didn't know, and now they know it. So if you want to live a healthy life, would you agree you got to get healthy first? That's their corrective program. You want the same for your family. That's it. I mean, look how easy that is. If you're not healthy now, do you want to get healthy? Do you have to get healthy first? Yeah. Do you want your family to be healthy? Yeah. Do you want them to live healthy? Yeah. Well, if health is energy, is following towards your lifeline, please you should take care of it. Absolutely. Great. Who do you want to start with? How simple. It's so simple, people find it hard. The irony of it all. Patient education is hard. So what's this say? So you're about to discover their beliefs. What do we do? Went through this yesterday, seven beliefs. Here's the beliefs you're shattering on day one. Chiropractic's for pain. Chiropractic's for the spine of medicine, not for health problems, right? And medicine for health. Chiropractic's for health care. Hey, I get, I get healthy, I quit. Chiropractic corrects the spinal curves of my health problems. Now my spine's corrected, my health's great. Now I quit. Chiropractic's health care lifestyle for myself. I've been coming for years. But, you know, I had a problem. I had a health problem. I want to stay healthy. So I take care of my spine and nervous system. But my kids don't have problems. This is what I went through yesterday. By the own bringing their kids. Chiropractic's health care lifestyle for my family. Now we're getting into healthy beliefs. Chiropractic's health care lifestyle for my family tree. Generations to come for everyone I know. And it's part of my life purpose. Now we have something to talk about. Now we have some. Don't build a business. Disrupt the whole healthcare industry, man. Create your own category. If you're not here to disrupt healthcare, you're going to build a practice. You may have a good life. You may be satisfied, but your spirit, what's inside you is calling you. And you feel it because you know there's something bigger inside of you that exists. Hey, they did it when they signed up with me. They increased 250000 the first year. While they're going 80% cash, they have over 80% light of permanent lifestyle patients. They're full CBP. They get 86 80% in a full correction. That's 72 visits, 92 to 98% in the lifestyle. That's a 90% culture. Hey, Joe Hansen, uh, I've shown you these slides. His grand men at CBP, 30 to 40 PVA. We're seeing 140 a week. He busted up 350 a week. No, I don't want to work that hard. Went down to 220, hasn't accepted a new patient in over two years. That means he gets no new patients. He's 220 a week. He's got a 220 PBA, 100% lifestyle culture. He works two days a week, sees his 220, and then he does whatever he wants. And now his purpose is taking him to another level. So now we go principle, purpose, core value, standard strategy. Now we're going to go to systems. We're going to fly through these, gang. Sorry, it's taking longer. We're going to fly through these. What are your systems? Step-by-step -step procedure. What's that? They're determined and guided by your strategy. So pre-consult, consult, exam, and they uphold your core values, manifest your purpose, and express principles that health is energy. So what is that? Well, that's here again. The systems and the strategies are keeping the puck in the middle of the rink. What are they? First initial phone call, wow, first impression. The new patient door, tour so they know health is energy and this is a lifestyle. And you're prompting them, ask the doctor about your kids. Ask the doctor about the meds you're on. Ask the doctor about this. So they're coming to you. Pre-consult, they have to know health. They have to know and believe health is energy. Consult, you're looking for their history of beliefs. Hey, this is how you ended up this way. Posture exam, you're looking for their posture, relates to health problems. Con station exam, you're talking about generational patterns. I'm going to go through this tomorrow. You get the agreement on day one. Can you see why chiropractic is a healthcare lifestyle? And they agree. They agree to that. Now they're going to bring the spouse and possibly their kids to the ROF for their first day one. Spouse tends day two. X-rays identify generational patterns, do a correction potential. Day three is when you go through time and money. We said 20, 30 year health and life goals because that's how you want to live. That all of that is health recovery. They have to get 90% correction of their spine, 90% reduction in all health problems. So look how we're just banging through these systems. And then once they're healed, now we go into the optimal life plan, not maintenance.
We're going to go over on Friday, on Friday, day five, why they quit just because you call it maintenance or wellness. If you do a new patient workshop, spouse must attend. You sign up family and friends. You confirm lifetime commitment to chiropractic health care. Follow up with the referrals. Now, look at that, man. See, these are, I mean, I'm going through what the systems are. But all of these are upheld by the core values and the purpose and the standards. Daily visits about the healing experience, not only getting adjusted, not just get adjusted, but about the healing, health is energy. Re-exam, we're going throughout the boot camp coming up, is a foundation for retention. We have a progressive reward system that they get continual rewards, dopamine rewards that keep them in lifestyle. We have patients set their goals and they commit to it 100%. What's that? 20 to 30 year health and life goals. Now promotion. So here we go. Now get this. Here's the key. I knew I flew through that. I can't explain all those systems. We have two boot camps, two, two and a half days that will take you through the whole thing. Role play it. <clears throat> Your PVA will grow by 20 visits by going through that. You will have a new practice. And in the whole coaching system is how you get to 100 PVA. Now, remember in the beginning, you go from purpose to promotion. Now you look at this. Wow, this is your promotion. How your purpose, your core values, your standards, your strategy, of changing beliefs, your systems of how you change beliefs, how you help them raise their standards, how their core values align with your core values, how your purpose becomes their purpose because they understand the principle of who they are. This is the patient you're creating. Now, should you do videos? Absolutely. So what's promotion? And then there's finance and principles. So check out promotion. All the steps up to this point is your promotion, right? Generational patterns from day one. That's your promotion to get families. New patient workshop with referrals. That's how you get extended families. Three ways to refer. That's the system Three ways we teach patients they can refer. Your daily visit is your promotion. Your re-exam is your promotion. Your family and friends day is promotion. Your relationships with businesses promotion. The videos you make are promotions. All the, the positive rewards. How you What you put on your walls is your promotion. We just went through this with Tim. Hey, Tim, are you, if you're there... And you come on and you can unmute yourself, then tell them what we did with your with your geography. If you're there, Tim. You may not be there, so that's all good. So what else? Talk to people everywhere you go. I get I, I get signed people up for chiropractic and other offices every week. Multiple apply this business model in and out of your clinic. Great purpose Sorry. for patients. Uh, it's all good, brother. Just tell them what we did with just your geography, the new patient tour, and just how we set up the inside of your clinic. Absolutely. It was amazing. It was worth, that alone was worth everything you came out with. Uh, transformed all my things. First case, uh, energy is health, or health is energy. Went through the empowerment of the team. Lily went through each wall that you could walk through and understand exactly what I do without uh, us saying anything. Changed our healing hall of fame. It was really yeah. amazing. A patient should be able to walk. So we really started kind of with day one, day two in the beginning. By the time they walk through the clinic, if you said nothing like what Tim said, they will completely understand what you do. And then you take them on a tour. It's done. They get lifestyle. They're ready to bring their family before they shake hands with the doctor. Absolutely amazing. Thanks for sharing, Tim. That's what creates a movement. What's a movement? Hey, we want to create people that have purpose. They want to create social change. They have purpose, conviction. We went through this last night. You're solving a world problem. You have complete unity. Unity and purpose creates exponential power. Hey, here's an example. Martin Luther King. That was a movement. How many people? Like 2,000, they had thousands of people on the lawn of the White House. They didn't have Facebook. They didn't have facts. They didn't have email, right? Because when people sense that unity and they sense a universal truth, 
they show up. That can be your practice. Gandhi, that's a movement. Why? Because it's a universal law. Your message is a universal law. You can turn it into a movement. And then you don't have a problem with the practice. You got a problem with, here's you got a problem with space. Just go chop wood, man. Now, here's what I used to say with my patients or with my team. There's a little X on that stump. The team's job, now the wood is the patient. The team's job is put that wood on the X. What's that mean? They got the new patient tour. They got the new, they got the impression. You know, the wow first impression. They have all their systems down that set that up. The doctor, pre consultation consultation, they're swinging the X. Now, if I chop that wood and I get a good, do a good job, that patient understands lifestyle, understands generational patterns, understands how to do this. And what do you create? A big ass wood pile. Another patient comes, the team puts the wood on the X, I swing the ax, throw it on the pile. Put another one, right? But what do you do? The wood keeps coming because you're 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 getting family trees. You're not getting individual patients. You should be processing families, not just individual patients. Then all of a sudden, like that's gonna last more than one winter. <laughs> That's wood for years. And what are you doing? Still chopping. Okay. That is a legacy. And you can, I'm going to show you how to do it. Now you want to master it. Let's talk about the online system. We have all the foundational principles that I'm showing you all on video online that you can learn on your own with your team. Go to a boot camp. Be there in person, have the experience, join the whole coaching program, and we'll build that pile for you. We'll show you how to build it for you. Then all of a sudden, it's like, God is your source. This is my screensaver, not because I care about the money. Do I like money? Absolutely. But I like purpose better than money, right? We don't do purpose for money. We do purpose because of the light behind the money. You realize God is your source. I'm doing the impossible. But it's possible because God is doing it for me and with me. Now, finances. Hey, I have an 80 plus PBA, 90% of your patients. You got a shitload of monthly payments. Have re-signs, have 90% re-signed. You got monthly payments. Add services that are consistent with your culture and purpose. Purpose. You know, we have people that do functional medicine, you know, soft wave, you know, all these other things. Laser. Your prepays are deposited in your financial freedom account. Why? Because when a per because you're living off your monthly payments, your monthly lifestyle payments pay all your bills. The prepays, you're not allowed to spend that in advance anyway. That's your hey, that's your savings account, man. That's your financial for I'm just dumping those money in there and I'm living off the resides of the monthly payments. If you do the system, that's where you, you can end up. You just gotta say yes. Have a great insurance biller and collector. We have the uh, Stacy at the boot camp. Talk to Miles, Dr. Miles, cash practice, Dr. Josiah. He's going to show you business software on Thursday. Stacy has the insurance. Damien has the can help you make the videos. So we're helping you with the right people that can build your culture. Reinvest in yourself and team continually. That's coaching. Get a great financial planner because you're going to freaking need it. And then re-contribute to your sole purpose. So there it is. I know I went late. Man, when that when you take that model into your heart, man, you are on a path that is so elevated. There's only one way you're going to end up. And that's right where everything shows. So go to the secret seven-figure lifestyle practice. That's where these will be posted. You can go to the elite coaching. Elite Chiropractic Coaching on Facebook. You can go to Elite Coaching LLC. Uh, we do have the Secrets of the Seven Figure Lifestyle online course where I put all this and so much more. How did that whole, this, each step to that business model is on videos that you can train your team easily and, and create a legacy uh, that way. We also have boot camps and we have the full 
coaching system. So if you're not involved, but you want to create a legacy, hey, let's talk about it. And um, because you're online, like Jonathan and Robert and, you know, all these all these guys that are listening to this video, uh, you do get a coaching call. You don't have to buy, invest in anything, but I will help you implement what we're showing you right now. So uh, just email me, drfred1 at msn.com. We'll set up a time. And uh, this is just to help you implement what we went over tonight. So thank you so much. Love you guys. If you have a question, you might want to put it in the chat real quick here. So uh, still got the same one. Great to be here. What is it? Cool. Got it. Right on. Okay, perfect. Thank you. And uh, love you guys. We shall see you soon. Wait till tomorrow, man. Tomorrow's going to be really freaking awesome. So be there. Share this with three other people and uh, other chiropractors. And let's make a greater impact than we've ever made before. All right. Love you guys. Peace. Thank you.